So, Into the Radius 2, aka Into the Diameter, has finally released into early access. This game is an absolute blast and is a VR survival shooter that is even better than the original Into the Radius, despite some early access jank and bugs. That's because Into the Radius 2 does exactly what a sequel should do. Take what made the first game so enjoyable and refine it. Update things, add new places, change up the existing formula, and create something even more fantastic. This is the most obvious in the visuals. Even though the computer which is recording the footage you're seeing can barely run this game without melting, and that's with the graphics turned down, Into the Radius 2 is gorgeous. As you'll see from this footage, the beauty of the game's environments goes beyond the technical details of nice particle effects and textures. Into the Radius 2 is like fighting to survive inside of a surrealist painting. Everything from the mundane objects that you'll find in the oddest places, to the deadly red water, to the trees, both seem entirely strange and out of place, while also being close enough to a real-life environment to be somewhat believable as a real place. It's that classic mixture of Soviet-era decay, unknowable horror, and apocalyptic blast, sharper and better than ever before. This fantastical aesthetic and artistic direction extends to the new anomalies, many of which were basically just deadly geometric shapes in the first game. Now they look better and more like real objects twisted by the Radius's phenomena into something otherworldly. They also have more interesting new mechanics surrounding them. Not all will just hurt you the moment you come into range. And so while anomalies are still very deadly, you'll have to be much more clever to circumvent them. Even when you get past the anomalies to the profitable artifacts that they hide, collecting them isn't as straightforward as just flashing a light on them like in the last game. Nope, now you'll need to figure out and understand the world of the Radius in order to collect these artifacts. Some you can just grab or shoot to collect, but others, others will take more equipment or more cunning to get your hands on. Where you'll go to sell these artifacts has been improved upon as well. While many lovers of the original Into the Radius will surely always have a soft spot for the dilapidated train yard of Vano in their hearts, Into the Radius 2 features a much sleeker and more modern looking home base. It has impressive walls and guard towers and more buildings and space to store items than ever before. It's like you're on a futuristic military base. Everything seems new and even the computers all look much more modern. Of course, after you sell those items, you'll also be buying things in the base, and that's where the new store comes in. Unlike Into the Radius 1, the sequel has a store where you can actually pick up and put on the items you want to buy before you buy them. This is a fantastic idea and makes every trip to the store when you're fat with cash and ready to get a major upgrade a ton more fun. This is also especially important because now you have many more options to experiment with before you buy them. Your choice of loadout is now much more personalized, with a variety of backpacks and tactical rigs to customize how you store your weapons and magazines. There are rigs that store your pistol at your side and a long gun over your shoulder in classic Into the Radius fashion, and others that change things up in interesting ways. There's even a rig with two pistol holsters or just one long gun holster. With these new loadout options comes a wide array of firearms, and those firearms feel more impressive in virtual reality than ever. Seriously, a surprising amount of VR games, including the first Into the Radius, have weightless and floaty feeling weapons. Not Into the Radius 2. These guns feel like guns. They're heavy, and if you try to whip a large assault rifle around like you're John Wick, then you'll be surprised to find that the heavy weapon you're holding will take a while to catch up with your unencumbered physical hands. The weight of the weapons makes you move and shoot more carefully, and overall is very immersive. It also helps that every time you run, your weapon will actually jiggle a little bit. Surprising, right? Well, this is a pretty radical change, and an innovation in how a VR game can keep you from just running and gunning all of the time. You can technically still aim while moving quickly, but it is much harder to hit a target with your sights wiggling all over the place. Kind of like if you were actually trying to run while keeping a gun steady at the same time. The guns in this game don't just feel weighty when you carry and point them. They also have a lot of kick to them when you shoot them, and they sound tremendous. These guns sound absolutely forceful, and feel and sound like firing an actual firearm much more than they did in Into the Radius 1. The enemies you face will also have powerful sounding weapons, and they aren't afraid to use them.
the AI in Into the Radius 2 is much improved over the first game, where the AI enemies in Into the Radius 1 did a lot of crouch walking around towards you, the enemies in the sequel dash from cover to cover and will suppress your last known position with withering fire if given the chance. The AI in Into the Radius 2 is much better at taking cover and exchanging shots with you. All of this adds together to create firefights in Into the Radius 2 that force you to treat them seriously and don't allow you to just run and jump around them while firing from the hip like you're in a Call of Duty lobby. There is a lot more emphasis on fighting enemies with guns in Into the Radius 2 than there was in the first First game. While that being an improvement is debatable, it is impossible to deny that these firefights feel stunning to take part in on so many levels. Alright, let's see, uh, how many is that? Eh, well, that's 11, but let's throw in one more. Multiplayer. Enough said. Of course, there's even more things that make Into the Radius great that haven't been mentioned in this video. If you've got something you've enjoyed about Into the Radius 2, then feel free to share it in the comments below. While you're there, if you like this video, then feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when more videos like this one are released here on Reality Remake. Enjoy yourself out there in the diameter, I mean, in the radius.